Hola, welcome to episode 15 of PPP, Paul Plays in Portugal, Football Manager 2018 Let's Play series where it's all about having fun and I'm having fun, I hope you guys are having fun, if you are, remember to hit the like button, that would be very much appreciated. Today is a big day for the club because we're taking on Porto, who we've already beaten this season, and Sporting, who also we have already beaten this season in two games, remember, earlier on in the season, in an episode we beat them both and it was pretty remarkable stuff. However, this time around, it's very important that we get results if we want to stay in the hunt for top spot because we have fallen behind of late after defeats against Barvist and Vittoria de Gomez. We've lost our two last two league, we've lost we've lost our last two league games, if I can blurt out the words. And we could feasibly lose a third and fourth game in a row, which would be a little bit demoralising because we've been so good this season. Our first defeat of the season was against Braga. We went a long time unbeaten. We then had another unbeaten spell before losing against Benfica. But recently we've started to come a little bit more unstuck. But at the end of the last episode, remember, we beat Bar Vista 4-1 in the cup, the first leg of the semi-final. And I found the solution. All we need to do is go standard. Go take the lead and maybe go standard in the second half. And perhaps that's the answer. We'll have to see, I suppose. We've not played any games since the last episode because I wanted to take on Porto and Sporting, two very important teams, two very important fixtures today. Unfortunately, Franco Lopez is pretty knackered for this game and he's got 20 goals this season and a very strong average rate and it was a cracking signing. What a player to get in on loan from River Plate. Four and a half star current ability, according to my assistant. There's no chance we're going to be able to sign him, unfortunately. Perhaps we can get him on loan again next year. Maybe, don't know, wishful thinking probably. I'm going to play Rui Costa. We will have Franco Lopez on the bench because he might have to come on. Maybe we're 2-1 down with 10 minutes to go, he can come on and save the day. The rest of the team will stay the same. We are a little bit tired from that cup game, but we're going to give it our best shot. 4-4-2 from Porto, then classic 4-4-2. Abubakar up front alongside Gonzalez. Not sure if they made any sign-ins in January, possibly. They've got a quality team. They're not playing Gassias in goal, though. But, yeah, we're going to have to watch out for them. Uh, Wellington is on fire. He's our top assist, mate. He's got... What? Has he scored 20 assists this season for us? That is insane. I'm going to have to check this out. He's got 20 assists this season and 11 goals. And, strangely enough, Lopez has 20 goals and 11 assists. So, Wellington has been phenomenal. I love him. I know he's a little bit frustrating at times in front of goal. But he's creative. Let's give it our best shot then. I think a loss today will end our chances of winning a title. But like I said in the last episode, I'm aiming for the cup now. That is a realistic chance of winning a trophy and confirming a European place as well, most importantly. I'd love to be playing in Europe next year. And we deserve it after such an impressive first two thirds of the season. We've just come a little bit unstuck recently. Porto coming forward here. Wellington intercepts though, but he gives it away straight away is a little bit annoying but Gribbin Callum Gribbin on loan from Manchester United won it back and now Bruno Lamas who's not been as brilliant lately plays it into Gribbin here's oh, look at him go oh Wellington Wellington oh yes Rui Costa oh brilliant stuff absolutely brilliant lethal football from us Gribbin just suddenly put on rocket shoes or something because look at this just that increase in pace boom had a shot deflected Wellington put it across and Rui Costa with the simplest of tappings. I thought Wellington was going to shoot, but he was sensible and put it across the face of goal. And another assist for Wellington. I think that was Rui Costa's fifth goal of the campaign as well. And if we are still winning at half time, we'll go standard. But that's a big if because there's still lots of football to go. Here's Mosquita coming forwards, plays into Callum Gribbin. Look at him go. He's just got that burst of pace. He did give it away, unfortunately. And now Porto on the attack. That's a good ball into Abu because this looks dangerous. It's going to cross in and 1-1. One, one. Defensively, we have started to be much more suspect. We've returned to last season's ways of conceding goals. Jadson leaving has been a big blow, I think. Mosquita with the throne. Let's see if we can retake the lead against the champions, Porto. Gribbin, Rui Costa... This is nice football. Nakajima back to Rui Costa who hits it just wide. Free kick which Gribbin takes. Whips it in. It's knocked away quite easily. But now Vinegar on the ball. 
Here he goes, the young Portuguese player on loan from Monaco. Great ball in Wellington. Oh, what a brilliant cross from Nakajima. That was a deadly cross. They just couldn't do anything about that. I think it was Nakajima. Let's just let's just check on the replay. Vinegar picked the ball up around halfway, burst forwards a little bit, played it into the path of Nakajima. Really, what this is? What a cross! You can't stop that. And Wellington tapping at the back post. We're still deadly going forwards, and I love the attacking flair that we have. Even without Paulinho, we are deadly going forwards. Paulinho is just a, a distant memory now. I, would, I do miss Jadson though, because although he was iffy last year, we are really feeling the effect of losing him. Here's Wellington on the charge again. Look at him go. I love Wellington. Wellington boots. Llamas. Rui Costa. I like Wellington boots too. Llamas. Rui Costa. Rui Costa. Oh, good effort. Players a little bit tired at half time, I must say, after that semi final performance. Uh, so it's time to go to standard and see if it works again. It worked against Boa Vista. Let's hope it works against Porto in the second half. We've won a corner which Gribbin crosses in, headed away quite easily, but here's Rui Costa. Oh, what's a goal! No! It's disallowed. What for? What? Why was that disallowed? Oh, come on. We have to see that again. Look at this. Why was this disallowed? It's headed away. Boom! Is it because of this play? Was he in, was um, our young Marcos Vericius in an offside position in the way of the keeper's feet? But wow, oh my, that is so unfair. That was one of the best goals ever from Rui Costa on the volley. That is just so unfair. Ah, oh, okay. Here we go then. Can we get a third? This time Grebin fires it wide. I just don't I don't think that deserved to be disallowed. There was no chance even without Vinicius there. The keeper wouldn't have got anywhere near that shot. Uh, Esquito's got injured by the way. <laughs> On comes Avalos who conceded a goal in the last few minutes against Boa Vista in the last game. So let's hope he can put in a good performance. Here come Porto. Oh, that is... Oh, match fixing. Match fix. There's just no legitimate reason. I mean, there is a legitimate reason. Here's all oh, good save by Ferreira. But I still don't... I don't think it was... Maybe there was a push in the box. It didn't say on the... I don't think it said on the commentator's thing what was disallowed. Oh. I hate it when those things happen because you see something absolutely wonderful. Same in real life football. See something wonderful and it's disallowed and you just think, oh... That, oh, what? Oh, but they score a beautiful goal and it's not disallowed. <sighs> and our chances of winning the title are basically blown because that. Look, what a goal. That is a good goal. Ferreira maybe should have done a bit better. But equally, if we just have a look at this again, there's a player in the way. Look, these players in the way of the goalkeeper, were they offside? Let me know in the comment section below. What do you think? Was that Should that have been a goal? That I Should mine have been a goal? Or was it fairly disappointing? Maybe there's a thing that I've just completely missed here and I'm being an idiot. But uh, And I've not made substitutes because I've been so frustrated. Look at my players. They're dead on their feet. I'm going to bring Bruno to batter on. Pedro Sá is going to come on for Marcel. And we're going to go attacking because we have to go for it. A draw just isn't good enough. A win would get us back in the title challenge. But a draw isn't good enough. Robbed. I've been robbed. Here's Avalos. Plays it into Rui Costa. He must feel dreadful. Oh no, Nakajima! Justice! Justice! Ah, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. As away days would say. You know what I mean. I'm sure, in fact, Portu there's a Portuguese link here. How many people, how many people watching this watch away days because of you know, the Porto thing that he's done. You know, if you're from Portugal, you might have seen his video. You probably have seen his videos. Good old Ellis. Uh, well, we're going back to standard. Let me just keep my composure here. We deserved that. My chair's falling apart, I think, because I've got so excited. But let's look, let's watch this again. What a game this is, by the way. I mean, I've forgotten the fact that this is a cracking game. We're winning 3-2 against Porto. Our parent club... Remember, they are linked with us. Even though we're in the top flight, we're still linked with them. 
But there's still two minutes of injury time to go. Ryu Costa finds Nakajima. Can we finish this off? Nakajima. Bruno, Bruno Tabata. So close. What a save that was, I must say. Vinegar. La Lamas. Crossed in Wellington. Oh, he couldn't get enough power behind there. This has been a fantastic game of football. We deserve to be winning 4-2. I think, mate, maybe I'm being an idiot and there was a reason why it was disallowed. <laughs> but yeah, we still might get the all important three points here. We do! We've won! That oh, we deserved that. We really did deserve that. What a performance from us. And Nakajima gets the winning goal, popping up at the back post there. Two assists from Wellington once again, by the way. I'm saving the game before it crashes. Wellington is magic. He wears a magic boot. Oh, I love this guy. What a player he's turning into. He's 26 years old now, but he's a cracking player for so many assists this season. 22 in all competitions, 12 goals as well. Oh, he's a star, even if he can be so frustrating in front of goals sometimes. But he's learning to cross instead of shoot, I think. We're now five points behind the leaders sporting. If we beat them... We'll only be two points behind them, remember. And we're currently three points behind Porto. It's doable. It really is doable if we can beat Sporting. Let me just highlight the fact that we've done the double over Porto this season. That is amazing. And both games finished 3-2, I believe. Let me just check. 3-2 away from home. Late goal from Bruno Tabata to win it, remember. 3-2 at home. 91st minute winner from Nakajima. Carbon copy. I don't understand how that's happened. Let's see if we can get the double over Sporting and complete a double-double. Unfortunately, we did lose against Benfica in the league, so we're not going to be able to complete a treble, treble or anything like that. But it really has been a marvellous season. They are the favourites, so they're top of the table, five points ahead of us. If they win this, I think they're favourites to go on and win the league ahead of Porto. If we win this, it's all open, isn't it? Marcel suspended, unfortunately, so Pedro Sarr is going to come into the team. Onto the bench goes Cal K. Uh, I think the rest of the team are going to keep this. No, Franco Lopez. Uh, Rui Costa played well, and he scored an unbelievable goal that was disallowed. But Franco Lopez, he is important. He's going to come back in. Gives us even more chance of getting some something, some sort of result against Sporting. Wish me luck. These are the lineups, and they're going with two up front. They're going for this Dumbia and Origi, their top goal scorer this season with... 18 goals, 7 assists as well. Quality team. They're obviously challenging for the title, so they have a quality team. What I've said to the players is, let's go and cause an upset. I'm just going to inspire the defence a bit and pray that we can produce another miracle in our orange kit today. It's a lovely, vibrant orange. Sticking with Callum Gribbon in attacking midfield. He's done an all right job there, but Origi's going to open this hard. Oh, Oh, offside, offside. Well done. Well done, assistant. You've done a good job this time. It might be a different assistant manager. It probably is. As we pump that clear, here's Lopez. Back to Pedro Sar. Llamas. Nakajim, this is a nice play. Callum Gribbin. Callum Gribbin. Oh, he was looking for Mosquito. He just wasn't quite on the same wavelength there, but it wasn't exactly the, the best ball from Callum Gribbin either. And now Dumbia on the, on the charge. Oh, Posignolo cuts it out brilliantly. And now we're in possession. It's end-to-end -end football. <coughs> and Wellington, Llamas, Nakajima, into Lopez. Nice play from us here. Lopez, look at him go. Look at him go. Good effort. Saved by Patricio. Oh, I'm full of energy now after that win against Borso. This is Nakajima with a free kick. Crosses it in. It's headed away. Lopez back to Llamas. Into the path of Lopez again. He finds Nakajima. Bruno Llamas hits the post from long range. Good effort. And now they're on the counter. It really is end-to-end. -end. This is what I like to see, though. This is what the fans like to see. Free kick. Callum Gribbin steps up. Hits the wall, though. But, oh, he gets the, the rebound in. The keeper can't get enough to it to keep it out. And Gribbin gets his third goal for the club since signing on loan from Manchester United. Let's watch this again. The, the free kick was disappointing. Let's be honest. Smashed Acuna straight in the head. But then he hits it. And Patricia gets a hand to it, but he can't tip it wide. We're 1-0 up against Sporting. And now we're on the attack again. Vinegar finds Gribbin. It's headed away, though. Pedro Sarr, Llamas. Oh, that's poor. He had time there. He didn't need to... I don't know why he relaxed and let the tackle come in. Oh, what a ball. That is a Rigi 1-1. 
that's quality, isn't it? That pass was unbelievable. Are there picnic bunches and giant footballs in every single Portuguese stadium? And it's just, there's so many. <laughs> Look at that! What a what a ball. Anyway, we've been good. We've actually been the better team in terms of shots. 50-50 possession at the moment. Uh, but Sporting now they're in possession. And Prosignolo should easily cut that out. But it's back to, to Podence. And he's cut it out again. Really good stuff from him. And Lopez now on the ball. Collecting it nicely. Wellington. We haven't seen anything from him today. But he's almost scored. He's almost lobbed the keeper. Patricio did really well to catch that. And he's pumped it up the pitch. Prosignolo. He's winning everything at the moment. Here's Wellington. Back to Llamas. Nice play. Interplay between us. Lopez. The Dreguatista. Finds Wellington with a great ball. Wellington can't finish though. When Wellington does score, it's a nice surprise, really, because I'm never expecting him to score. Let's just encourage the lads until half-time. Ten minutes until half-time. Nakajima plays it back to Vinic, who plays it down the line. Lopez isn't going to get on the end of that. Here they go, Origi. Oh, Posignoli misses a header for once. But we've, we've won the ball back anyway, and Nakajima plays it up to Lopez. Lopez, great ball to Wellington, who can't finish, but he does this time, and we're 2-1 up. See, it's a nice surprise when he scores. It's nice to be surprised. I like surprises. Not everyone does, but I do. And when Wellington scores, it's a lovely little bonus. This is great play. Nakajima played it into Lopez, but what a ball this is from Lopez. Great pass to find Wellington, who tucked it the other side of the keeper. He couldn't, I suppose it was even he couldn't really miss the target from that range. He could have hit it straight at the keeper. They are looking frustrated, nervous, disenchanted, but there's three minutes of injury time to go. And Wellington picks this up, but that's a poor first touch from him. He had the chance to attack down the right-hand side there, and unfortunately he lost the ball. Uh, but Vinegar picks that up, and now Lopez. Lopez charging forwards. Look at... Oh, wow, what a run. Oh, good effort. Good save by the keeper. We've won a corner with two minutes of injury time left. And Gribbin plays it back to the edge of the box. Nakajima, Pedro Sar over the bar. That rhymes. I'm a poet. Pedro Sar over the bar. La la la, mana ma. Yeah. It's going to be in the GCSE anthology one day. 2 1 up, away from home. I'm pleased with how things are going. And we're going to go standard. Didn't quite work against Porto, did it? Because they did equalise. But we're going to go standard because that's what worked against Barvista. And that's my blueprint now. Oh, I thought. I mean, even if we don't win this game, it's it, we've, we've put in a brilliant performance today against Porto and Sporting. After those two league defeats in a row, I was worried. But we do, there's still something about us. But let's try and close this game out. There's over half an hour to go. We've been magnificent so far, but Sporting can easily get back into this and overpower as they scored five against us last season, remember. Here's Acuna into Giraldas. It's just slowly coming forward. Vinegar mops that up, and Ferreira is. Uh, Thinking about what to do, he's played a nice ball out wide to Wellington, but that's another poor first touch from him. He just put too much on there. It'd have been better letting that go out of play, to be honest. And now Mosquito trying to get back. It's crossed in, and oh, it's just over the bar from Origi. Just encourage them again. That's that's my go-to shout, encourage. I'm an encouraging sort of guy. Lama's on a 6.7's not been the best player in the world today. Vinegar's on a 6.7 as well. I'm going to throw in Kukuba. We're gonna. He's on support because that's yeah. I've changed it to support, haven't I? Ten minutes to go. Can we hang on? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Do I bring on Avalos? Oh, is that suicidal, isn't it? I feel like it is. He's uh, he's a bit lacking, if I'm honest. I've loaned him, just hoping that he'd, he'd be a decent right back. He's great physically for his age. Oh, I don't know what. I'm going to bring Nakajima off. What am I doing? I'm clear. Has too many buttons to press. How many times have I said that this series? Bruno Tabata is going to come on for Nakajima as a winger on support, and Lamas is going to come off for Kalke. He will play as a central. In fact, what well, I'm going to swap him. No, 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 no. So Kalke can play there. He plays a deep line playmaker on defend. Let's go with that. I'm not really sure why. Well, uh, I need to have a reason for making these choices, but I don't. I just It's just gut feeling. That's what I rely on on Football Manager. Ferreira punishes it up the pitch. 
not really an adjective, is it? Um, well, it is, but not really for that. Here's Lopez. I don't know what I'm talking about. Lopez wins a penalty, but we don't have Pessoa on the pitch today, so I don't know who our penalty taker is. It might be Bruno Tabata. In fact, it is Bruno Tabata who steps up and slots it down the middle, and surely we're getting another win against Sporting. We're completing the double-double over Porto and Sporting. Bruno Tabata's seventh goal of the season, which is impressive considering he only really comes on for the last 15 minutes in matches. Great stuff. Lopez just won, he won that penalty from nothing. He basically fell over in the box. And I'm not complaining. Although, here they come. Ooh, Ferreira, good save. Tips it round the post. They've had 18 shots to our 14, by the way, and they've had more possessions. So we've been a really good performance here to, to get three goals and score more goals than them. Gribbin plays up to Lopez. Can we get a fourth? He's all by himself, but he has found Wellington, who's... Still got the pace and power even at this late stage of a game and he wins a throw in. Great football from Wellington. Two minutes, one minute, five seconds to go. What a win. We've done it. We've done it again. This is Deja Vu. It's, it's pretty much a carbon copy of the, the episode where we did this earlier in the season. Although that was only a 1-0 win over Sporting. So this is, in a way, is even more impressive. And I'm on a high. How have we done this? We're still in the hunt for first place. Unbelievable. We're second in the table. Sporto do have a game in hand, so if they win that, we'll be three points off top spot. But, importantly, we're in and around them. And Benfica are out the equation once again. They're going to finish worse than last year. Remember, they did actually finish third last season. Oh, this has been an enjoyable season. It really has. And next episode, we're going to be taking on Boa Vista in the second leg of our semi-final match and also we'll throw in a league game as well against Victoria de Suitable who are seventh in the league well obrigado once again thank you obrigado thank you obrigado thank you merci for watching this episode I'm going to shut up now I've done, I've done a lot of talking today I've just been on a high because of these impressive results look at Wellington on 16 assists what a legend I love him what a guy uh, but until next time, enjoy life, enjoy the rest of your day, enjoy Football Manager. I'll see you very soon.